but then I'm just kind of like, mmm. <laughs> So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the ways in which Germany changed me, positive and negative. So if you're interested, then please keep watching. Now, for my first point, I definitely have to say that I'm kind of inspired to be more knowledgeable, a bit more worldly, or just know about different cultures and different issues that are going on in the world. Um, a lot of times, especially as a young adult, you kind of just feel like, oh, you know, what's happening out there has nothing kind of to do with me, or... I'm just, I want to watch my episode of, I don't know, Breaking Bad right now. I'm just not in the mood to sit down and watch news. I'm not saying that kids sit down and watch news, but it just seems to me that a lot of young people or majority of Germans in general are very, very well informed. So it might not just be related to like news and what's happening in other parts of the world, but about science or like different languages and, you know, music and like the intricacies of these different things. Like seriously. And so sometimes I feel like, well, damn, I wish I was as interested in these things as they seem to be. And it's not like they're just feigning this interest, just like, yes, blah, blah, blah. That a lot of people are passionate about things that are kind of, I would say, mature, especially given their age. A lot of times, some of these kids like 17, 18, or people who I go to school with, and I'm like, wow, you're really quite worldly. And I'm like, I wish I was like that. Yeah, so definitely that whole thing of maturity and just being responsible, I would say. On that note of responsible, there are these huge, like, they call them Ordners, which is these folders. Like, it seems like almost every German house has them. Just, you know, everything that you get, all your documents from your, you know, taxes, your bills, everything is filed away neatly and in order. So that, you know, if you need to four leak something, no, I'm just kidding. If you need to, like, present a document, if you're going to apply for something or, you know, you have a complaint, okay, did you receive this document, blah, 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 you know exactly where to look to get it. And I just feel like in the Caribbean, we don't really have that system of boom, boom, boom. This is, again, just a generalization, but those Ordners, to me, when I see them, I'm like, mm, German, you know? And that kind of inspired me, too, to become a bit more organized and to know exactly where my documents are, because, like, do you have that document from the 3rd of October, um, 2012? I'm like, um, no, I wouldn't even know where to begin to look for that. But if you file them away neatly and orderly, you will find said document. Like this, yes. Now there's a trend coming, it's been here quite a while now, but everything has to be either bio or, you know, it seems a lot of people have developed over the years, um, like serious, like lactose intolerance or allergies to different things. So that whole like health conscious thing or just you know, kind of asking like, okay, is this fair trade? Is this a bio product? Where was this made? Obviously not everybody's on that bandwagon. They're just like, oh, forget it. Like just eat whatever you have. Just, you know, be quiet. This is cheaper. This is gonna fill you just the same way. You don't need to have bio. You don't need to have that because there are, you know, certain arguments around that too. But just that, that curiosity, I would say, as to, you know, where did this product come from? Is this actually good for me and my body? Hmm. Drinking water seems to be another big thing here too. Like, I know people who I went to school with in the Caribbean who drank water like no other. Hello, Joey. But drinking water as opposed to necessarily drinking, I don't know, a Coke or something with your meal. Obviously, there are people who love Coke and who love their mezzo mix or their spezi. Hello. But there are a lot of people who just generally will just drink water as opposed to drinking, you know, thing. And I guess obviously this generalization is not fair to limit to Germany or to Munich, but I just find it's like something that I noticed here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention it because I noticed it, it was a difference, you know? So in a sense, to truly be aware, being informed and knowing about everything that's going on around you, yeah. Now travel is another big thing. In the Caribbean, we don't, I wouldn't say we travel really as much as we might like to. I think we always say, you know, one day I'd like to go here, there and everywhere, and you know, you might not get to it. But here, because I th also I think the... <laughs> I don't want to give the excuse of location because in Trinidad and Tobago we were close to Barbados to here and there and not everybody utilizes that opportunity. Taking time off for of work and you know the flight and everything to get there is kind of like mm, maybe not because sometimes it's quite expensive. A lot of people would ask me like oh my god but you're from the Caribbean so have you been here 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 and I'm like actually no I have not and to them it's like really crazy it's like but you live right there how could you not explore that how could you not go and you know visit those other islands and it's just I actually don't have an answer for them because like why didn't I like why is that not a bigger thing because there are a few universities spread out across some English-speaking um, Caribbean islands so Jamaica, Trinidad, Grenada and Barbados so it depends on what course of study you want to pursue you can go to either one of those islands to do that and that's a big thing that people do so after you finish you know your A-levels, Abitur, then you have the opportunity to go to another island to study and that's a big thing so a lot of people do leave 
their home country, their home island to study, but it's not like a big culture of just traveling. And I think that's kind of a shame. I don't know why. Like Munich or just Germany, it's really, really in smack of everything. So like with Joey, for example, we went on a five hour bus ride from Munich straight to Prague in the Czech Republic. And that's something I never thought I might necessarily do. Or, you know, going to running to Italy right there for a weekend or something. Like these things are just like, I think German kids, German people just grown up with this thing. Of, you know traveling trying new things learning about new culture speaking different languages of course not everybody is necessarily open to traveling here for a week a lot of people tend to stick to their routines as well but i just think that culture of you know these teenagers who are like oh we're gonna go to spain for summer next year or you know we went to bali last week just that you know culture of every summer so you you know travel for that vacation you go somewhere else you learn a different language um even just to communicate for that holiday that's um a thing I've learned about like German young people, they're very very curious. Germany has inspired me to become more organized, more on top of things, to be more informed and know about the environment and the people and places around me, as well as being very conscious about what I, you know, consume, as well as, you know, it's kind of sparked my curiosity to learn about different cultures, different languages, and just about this big wide world of ours, like, yeah, it's out there waiting for you. Go and enjoy it, okay? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any video suggestions for me, then please let me know. I'd be very, very happy. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Coming soon, yeah? Alright, bye guys.